That was a run. It was good. Yeah. The Garmin has to learn Marsha and I's pace because yesterday we stopped a bunch and so it, it recorded some of my miles as like 10 minute miles because yeah. we stopped. Yeah. And so today- At the stop sign. I suggested a workout. I said 30 minutes and do it at 10 minute pace. And I passed that guy. Um, <laughs> look at him, he's still running. Yeah. I'm up. We went the same route. And so we, um, we were running at like 8.30 pace, which is like my slow at pace. At the stop sign. Warning me every like- You're going too fast. Uh, yeah, every minute probably the watch warned me that I needed to slow down. And so it's just gonna take some time. I'm hoping that our slow pace is 8.30 and that our fast pace is around 7, 7.15. Look at that dog. Is that that German Shepherd? Is that, that German Shepherd or is that like a... I don't know. Oh, that looks like a poodle thing. Oh. From here, I know. You can tell how I feel Much about bigger. poodles. I mean, standard sized poodles are like decent sized dogs. Yeah, they are. Bergy is almost done with his training sessions. There's, there's this week and then we skip next Saturday. And then the following Saturday is the final one. Last week we went to the park for distractions and he did okay. Um, yeah, he did well. And today we're going to Home Depot for distractions. Mostly people distractions, I guess. Because last week the dog park was dog distractions. I don't know, it's, it's weird because like, we want to have the dogs off leash and be like stapled to our, like, our hips the entire time. But at the same point, they're humongous dogs. And if our dogs are off leash and some other dog is off leash, and you know, the other dog, let's say, attacks Bergie, then, Bergie's gonna kill the dog, right? And it's gonna be his fault even if he is stapled to my hip. So if he's like, doesn't care about the distractions and he's always there and when he's on leash, then I don't care if your chihuahua comes up and attacks my Irish wolfhound. If my dog's on leash, I can't, you can't blame my dog. Your dog came and did himself in. We, we still train. We've We're had still trainers now for the last how many years? I don't know, a lot. And it's only been in the last like six or seven weeks that we've really yeah. felt like we've made significant progress. It took us a while to find a trainer we really liked. Yeah, and a trainer that was like more of the... We liked Marsha's trainer. Yeah, we liked Marsha's trainer but a lot. But he was um, a bit older and he didn't come to the house. We had to do a board and train with Marsha, which yeah. I mean, it's fine, but I just didn't love it. Yeah, and we've had, we had like the initial trainers after Bergie and Bruin got in a fight and it was like... They all had like different ways of going about kind of behavior training. Most of it for months was just like, okay, let's train the dogs to get used to their muscles. And let's put them on drugs. Let's put them on, yeah. And we went to this like dog psychiatrist person who like claimed Broom was in so much pain and that, that's why he was in, that's why he was such a grump. But uh, turns out he's fat. Turns out he was fat and pigeon toed. He's obese. I mean, he wasn't that fat. He's like, he was kind of, he weighed 100 and. 96 pounds at his heaviest. Yeah. He was supposed to be 175. Yeah, so he's like 20. He's 20 pounds overweight, so he's like wasn't skinny. Uh, but he like he didn't have like hip dysplasia, which is what the psychiatrist thought. Then we took him to the orthopedic guy, and he like they did X-rays, they did an exam, and they're like his hips look fantastic. Um, how much do you think your dog is supposed to weigh? <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, oh, while I'm damn feeding it. him treats in the vet too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that part. <laughs> I was feeding him treats. <laughs> to get him to like be nice and, oh. and to calm down pretty much and yeah. she, he was like yeah you might want to back off but they had him drugged up on like a ton of gabapentin uh Bergie was, was on, on like, like an antidepressant SSRI. ssri type drug and it was just like they don't need these right they're i mean i'm sure some dogs do but it wasn't Bergie was just he was just a butthole when he was grown into teenager. yeah but he was like he, but he was like puberty dog right like bruin was similar which is why you got Bergie. So I needed, I needed him to, somebody to play yeah. with. So like, I don't know. It's not like we didn't know this was a thing, but Bergies like Bergie was just, Bergie was, was a lot. I feel like a lot more than what is average. I mean, he's mellowed out quite a bit now, even though we played a lot yesterday. He still got a little bit of puppy in him. When I took Carrie to the gym and she says, don't film me. It was me actually like making her struggle kind of. Cause like you can see my face and it turns bright red and it's like, is he gonna die or is he gonna finish the rep? And when Kyrie co goes to the gym, if I'm like not there pushing her, it's a lot of going through the motions. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm strong, but I'm just not super strong. <laughs> <laughs> and not interested in getting stronger unless I'm like there guiding you through it apparently. That wasn't mean though. Yeah, I'm not 
lazy, but I'm... No. I mean, she went, she like came to the gym to lift with me after a three mile run with the dog. Yeah. Right? So if it was me, it would be like the three mile run with the dog. I was like, cool, I'm done for the day. So it's not lazy. Orange theory. Yeah, it's actually she does orange theory too. So it's like not lazy, just like not I just a weight lifter. Weight lifter. I just like working out. But I feel like I got a shot in my arm. That's how bad my arm hurts right now. I feel like I got the freaking COVID booster. <laughs> <laughs> after drinking two glasses of wine last night I feel like it yeah I remember why I don't drink yeah it's not like the a health thing it's like June. June. yeah the last time we were, we were talking on the R walk this morning as we go over all of the train tracks we were like we were talking that the last time either of us have had more than one drink in a sitting was in June and that was two <laughs> And then that was because we had the worst Airbnb. Oh my God! We were so when we were moving to Chicago, uh, to Chicago, uh, from Nashville to Florida. Holy crap! We we had to stay in like we had to stay in two different Airbnbs because our house sold like two weeks before we bought our new house. First Airbnb was fine. The second Airbnb, there were like old dog poop stains all over the carpet. And it was, you know, if you just don't go in the room, fine, whatever. But Kiri was just like, I, 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 I can't, can't stop I can't do this. It. So we ended up going to a hotel after that, and Which that was, was like, lovely, honestly. yeah, the that hotel was, was great. <laughs> like we stayed at the, the Kimpton in downtown uh, Nashville, yeah, which is hotel. the the hotel we stayed at when we got here the day before we could move into our our house in Nashville, and it was great. The one in Nash or the, the one in Nashville was a lot better than the one in when we stayed in South Carolina. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they, I mean, they were Actually, both really they, nice. They were both okay. There's because there was a lot of there was a lot of dogs and a lot of people in the one in South Carolina at our first stop driving from Chicago. It was fun there in South or not Chicago. South Carolina. Holy crap. Where were we? Savannah. Oh Savannah. Oh, that's right. It was Savannah, South Carolina. Savannah. That makes a lot more sense. Wish we could have done more. And if the dogs would have been together like they are now, it would have been a lot more fun. Even though yeah. they still we would have still had to get two rooms because we had four dogs. Yeah, it was. No, we only had three dogs. We didn't have Marshall then. Oh, that's right. We didn't have Marshall then. Yeah, they still. You can only have two dogs in a room. Yeah. Honestly, it was, it, we could have hit. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> it just hit a pattern of backpack. I mean, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there were a lot of a lot of people there. There, I mean, there must have been like some something going on down there. I don't know. Or maybe yeah, it was just they like had, the like, weekend. Those happy hours. Yeah, they had those happy oh, hours Fourth at like July. five o'clock. Oh, it was for the joke. And it was it was a lot of fun because like a lot of people love the dogs and they want to talk about the dogs. And it's like I can talk about these these guys. Bruno were at the point where they could be next to each other on a. Or on, they, on the we, leash, they weren't yeah. walking together on a leash, but they were. I could walk Berkey and you walk Bruno, and they yeah. could be in the same room together and not fight with each other. So right. It was, yeah. It was. It was okay. really funny watching like Kyrie go in with like Berkey first, and everybody like, "Holy crap! Look at that!" And then I would come behind like ten or twenty feet, and then like, "Oh my god, there's another one." It's Saturday, so like I'm not mad at it. Who the hell am I to be like, excuse me, could you be quiet? I'm trying to vlog in my backyard. Like yeah. that's a terrible thing to do. But it's a late lunch for us and I Kiri really wanted to show you what we made. Um, big giant bowl of chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> we both worked out and now we're eating chicken wings. Literally as I'm writing a script about how I like don't make any decisions when it comes to the food that I eat. Um, it's because I make them. <laughs> well, Kiri makes most of them. Uh, really, she makes the decisions on food that she wants to eat, and sometimes she wants me to eat them with her. So or make them for me. Yeah, that, that too. It's really easy. It's you just like Google it. Yeah. Three fifty on the Traeger. Uh, twenty minutes on the first side. Twenty to twenty-five minutes on the second side. And like, look. Come on. There we go. It's pretty yeah. good. It's very hot though. I should not have dove in like that. I didn't realize we weren't gonna have plates. Why would we have plates? I don't know. You eat the thing and you throw it in the bone bucket. And then you wipe your hands with the... Which paper towel do you want one? Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. But Bergen did really well at Home Depot training. Here he has no coordination, <laughs> and it's kind of funny. I get, and I'm a nervous person. Yeah, so it's, it's just she, not fun. She will <laughs> kind of freeze when someone tells her to like move her body in a certain way, while she's like trying to watch what she's sports. supposed to do. She like she runs right. She doesn't do sports. There's no coordination. There's just like I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And of course, because she works at, like every other week. We have training every week. I have more experience with training Bertie. Yeah, and our trainer's Cuban. So, yeah, so our trainer's Cuban. And <laughs> he great. is, like, he's spectacular. He's the best trainer we've had so far. Sorry to any other trainer that is watching this that we've had in the past. Yeah, we've had a lot. We've had a lot. Um, we liked most of them as people. Uh, he's been the most effective trainer we've had. Yeah. That being said, he is Cuban. He speaks English very well. He speaks with the same speed and cadence that he would with Spanish, which is a lot faster than I talk. People on my like socials complain that I talk way too fast all the time. This guy's like me at one and a half X, a lot yeah. faster. I have no problem listening to that. I can hear that. I have no problem listening to him, nothing. Kyrie, she'll get like maybe 30% of what he says. <laughs> if you add on top of that, the anxiety of having to like do a maneuver, like a footwork maneuver with Bergie in front of other people, forget about it. Yeah, I have stage fright, I have anxiety <laughs> <laughs> at Home Depot. Oh, it was a disaster. He kept telling me that I was nervous. You were nervous. I know. I mean, I give her a hard time all the time because the dogs understand what her like emotions are like and they will like they feed off that right so that's why for the like almost the entire week that Kyrie was gone last week i had the big guys out by themselves without anything going on because they could sense how calm i was and they both look at me like okay this guy's in control i'm not gonna like horse around because yeah. like i don't need to and when it's just Kyrie, they can tell that she is nervous nervous person yeah and it annoys me because <laughs> because then I get to I get to feel the anxiety which is partially my job but at the same time it's like well if you could you know chill a little bit then the dogs would be more comfortable yeah probably but it's a good it's been like a good uh, balance because you know she overreacts I tend to underreact especially when the dogs get like sick or hurt or something like that like it's always better for the dog's sake to have an overreactor because like if we go to the vet and it's not a big deal, like whatever, but if we go to the vet and it is a big deal, okay, could we caught it before it, like, before it scared me enough to go? Yeah. The balancing act. So after Kira didn't learn her lesson about not having a thousand cookies, someone had a cookie after dinner tonight. I had one cookie. Just the one though. <laughs> well, we only have so many left. But today is some celebration of a bridge being completed and getting to our like little neighborhood over here. So there's a HOA thing, I don't know. We're about to find out what that's about. We have the dogs, two of them. Marsha's walk time anyway. Marsha's walk time anyway. Bergy seemed rambunctious, so he wanted to come out. He, uh, <laughs> he's feeling, yeah, he's feeling less rambunctious now that he's pooped. He's uh, <laughs> the milk was a bad choice. It's actually nice out for the first time in forever well light out sort of yeah you can see the sun set behind us and we'll see what this lo looks like and then we will probably go home and do nothing because it's almost bedtime it's like 7 30 ish i don't have a watch on my phone's in my pocket and i got a phone in one hand and oh here's gonna go 7 33 i guess pretty cl pretty close and then i think tomorrow as promised yesterday and yeah. failed miserably will be the discussion about uh or next video, I guess, will be the discussion about the home improvements thus far, and we're gonna go see what this is about, yeah. and uh, yeah. we'll catch you in the, uh, the the house update before, I guess, most of it gets finished. Well, <laughs> we don't know, so we'll talk about that the next time. All right. Wow. How do you know they're all Girl Scouts? They could be Boy Scouts, but not part of the Scouts. It's 2023. You can do whatever you want.